Hi and welcome to another tutorial for Access users. In this last look at tables there's a few things I just want to cover before moving on to forms in Access. So to start with I'm going to open the movies table again. And the first thing I'm going to do here is just resize the columns so we can see all the entries in each of the fields in the records. And to do that I'm just going to move the mouse pointer into the movie ID label there and you can see it uh, becomes a downward pointing arrow and then it's going to click and drag across all the headings and then just put a mouse pointer between any two headings on the dividing line and double click and that will automatically resize all the columns that's going to click away uh, you could also if you want to if you click on the first one so if I click on movie ID again hold down the shift key and then click on the last one and as you can see it selects all the columns that's another way you can do it so I'm going to click away to deselect that click anywhere and I'm going to click on the save button here now the save button there is simply to save the design changes that have made okay now I'm going to edit the first record a little bit and I'm going to add on the Roman numerals at the end of Star Wars IV to indicate it's episode 4 now as you know if I didn't want to keep that change I could simply press the escape key at this point because the record is in, in, in edit mode and by pressing the escape key that cancels my change and reverts the record back to its original form or previous form okay I'm going to do that one more time and there's a little test for you here I haven't done anything here apart from type IV at the end of that title entry and all I'm going to do here is close the table and I want you to observe what happens okay now access did not say would you like to save the changes or anything so the question is I didn't click a save button so did access cancel that change that I made or save it so I'll reopen the table and find out and as you can see the change has been saved so watch out for that when you're entering information or editing information I'm going to do that one more time I'm just going to delete this time that little add additional bit on Star Wars and again I'm going to close the table without doing anything else reopen the table and it's retained that change so watch out for that when you're editing records and because of that because it's quite easy to accidentally mess up records Access does have a nice backup feature built into it. In Access 2003, if you go to the Tools menu and come down to the Database Utilities option, you'll see there's an option there to back up the database. And if I just click on that, you'll see it goes to my Access Files folder. I've got a folder there called Backup, and I'm going to double click on that. And there's a couple in there that I've already put in there and I'm just going to click on the save button now one thing you may not have noticed is that behind that save box access has closed the database so here you can see it's got the full title and at the end it says 2012-06-14 which is today's date so if I click on save it's saved it and now it's going to reopen the database automatically so let's click, click on open there so there's my reopened original file and if anything goes wrong with this now I can simply click the open button navigate to my backup folder um, and double click the backup file open that up and uh, there's my recovered data so I do recommend making a backup it's a very simple process and it gives you a little bit of extra security okay that concludes this look at tables and a couple of useful things there to uh, make sure your data is nice and safe Thank you for watching this tutorial and I'll see you next time.